And you're very welcome here to Dungourney on the 4th of December 2004 for the Michael O'Connor Motor Factors East Cork Junior A Football Championship Final. And we look first here at the Bright Rovers team. In goals is number one Richie Cahill. Right full fullback is Brendan O'Driscoll. Full back number three Pat Walsh. And left full back Pat Barry. Right half back wearing number five is Podrick Murphy. Centre half back number six is Barry Murphy. And left half back wearing number seven is Trevor Maloney. Midfield is Donal Ryan and Bat McHugh. Right half forward, number 10, Terry Broderick, who will captain the side today. Centre half forward is Brendan Walsh. And left half back, wearing number 12, is Brian Murphy. Right foot forward is number 13, Colm O'Keefe. Full forward is Mike Hogan. And left half full forward is Sean Ryan. The substitutes for Bride Rovers today, number 16 is George Johnson. 17, Pat O'Reilly. 18 is Barry Johnson, 19 is Aidan Collins, 20 is Hugh Kelleher, 21 is John O'Dowd, 22 is Jerome O'Driscoll, 23 is James Murphy, 24 is Mike Keary, 25 is James Birmingham, 26 is Pa O'Driscoll and 27 is Bat O'Connell. The Father O'Neill's team for this East Cork football final are as follows. In goals is number one Declan O'Shea. Right full back Quentin Higgins, full pullback is Billy Murphy, and left full back is Ray O'Neill. Right half back Pa Irwin, centre half back is Joe Holland, and left half back is Brian O'Driscoll. Midfield is Ken O'Donoghue and number nine Michael Holland. Right half forward is Joe O'Leary, centre half forward is Owen Conway, and left half forward the captain of the team today is John Flavin. Right full forward is Owen McCarthy, full forward is Edmund Holland, and left full forward is Kieran Wall. The substitutes for Father O'Neill's today are number 16, Robbie Dalton, 17 is Killian Swain, 18 is Podge Butler, 19 Brian Phelan, 20 is Owen Griffin, 21 is David Colbert, 22 is Ger Hennessy, 23 is Connor Wall, 24 is Rob Murphy, 25 is Cahal Rochford and 26 is Alan Brett. Yeah. The referee today is the very experienced Jar Sweeney of the Glenville Club. And we're ready here to roll in Dungourney for the final of this East Cork football final. Midfield there for Bright Rovers are uh, Donald Ryan and Bat McHugh, Ken O'Donoghue, Michael Holland keeping up the Father O'Neill side. Father O'Neill is playing from right to left here. George Sweeney just checking with both sides as we're almost ready to go here. Both sides moving around. And uh, breeze blowing from right to left here. Cold, chilly day, it will favour Father O'Neill's ball is in, game is on. Michael Holland at the back there, has flicked forward, broken away there, centre half back there for uh, is Joe Holland. Joe has fouled, that's going to be a free for uh, Father O'Neill's. Father O'Neill's searching for their third East Cork Junior A Football Championship final today. Quick free down the wing, intercepted immediately though by uh, Don Ryan. Kicking the ball down the wing, out comes he's well broken forward there, but Father O'Neill's pick it up in the f f uh, shape of Michael Holland. Out of the swing here, this is uh, Kieran Wall. Kieran flicked inside as Father O'Neill's picking up the pieces there. Down the wing here, coming out here is uh, full forward Mike Hogan. Mike 
has a bit of time. What's he going to do with it? Will he look for centre forward? He won't because it'll be flicked inside. It's gone right inside, but out comes Declan O'Shea. Declan picking the ball up, being challenged, punching the ball back, and a kind of a misplaced pass almost. It's going to be picked up there by Colm O'Keefe. Colm going down there. He's What's he going to do? He's going to come across the goals. He's ball going to ground. He still he picks it up. He's still running. He's kicking, but the ball going left and side, upright, ball going wide. Good run across there by Colm O'Keefe, but the ball going wide. Declan O'Shea getting away there with the uh, the error as it were and he'll uh, come back to take the kick out <laughs> Declan striking the ball down the middle it goes flicked on inside Sean Ryan Michael Holland not collecting the ball coming back to Donald Ryan Coming out here to do uh, Brian Murphy. Terry no, Eric, uh, Terry Broderick, uh, Terry flicking the ball inside. The first kick coming in, and it's gone over the bar. Very good score by uh, Donald, or Keir, Sean Ryan rather. Sean Ryan putting the ball over the bar after uh, the first score of the game. First score of the game. Right overs. Searching for their first East Cork Junior A Football Championship victory today. This is their uh, third final. They've lost the previous two to uh, Aaron Zone. The first one after a replay out in Glenville. Ball down the wing. Sean Ryan doing very well at the middle of the field. Booted on further again there by Brendan Walsh. Inside again to the full forward there, Mike Hogan. Mike out the wing here to Terry Broderick. Terry is the captain of the team. He's flicking the ball inside, but it's intercepted very well there by the left corner back there, Ray O'Neill. Ray, a very experienced player, bringing the ball out. Ball brought out the field here. That's uh, Brian O'Driscoll. Brian passing the ball in. Kind of a hefty tackle there on uh, number 12, John Flavin. But John the captain, not intercepted there and brought away there by uh, left cornerback Pat Barry. Pat looking for a player to come out the field. He's got the man out here. Great run in here is uh, Pat Walsh. Pat is still going. What a run there by the fullback Pat Walsh. And uh, he's gonna, it's gonna be a free. Pull back at him. He's gonna take all the way back though. Terry Broderick looking for the quick free. Maybe intercepted though by our right half back there and a quick ball out the wing here and forward here is coming the centre half over Owen Conway. Owen flicking the ball out but it's got by uh, Donald Ryan this time. Donald being met by a couple of players but doing very well to pass the ball out to the far wing there. As forward come Bright Rovers, they're playing against the breeze but they're doing very very well. Low ball into the corner forward there, that's Sean Ryan. Sean has already got one score. Can he get another one? He's fouled and that's going to be a free in for Bright Rovers. He's taking the quick free. He's... Uh, one minute those George Sweeney tells him and uh, being spoken to by his linesman obviously not happy with his, what he saw gonna go over there though George just checking carefully holding on though Sean Ryan doing very very well and George Sweeney going in who's he gonna have a word of it calling out the number two out Quentin Higgins Sean Ryan. Sean Ryan is uh, also uh, to them being uh, spoken to. Sean Ryan. Terry Broderick, I think, booting the free in. It's very, very much to the right hand side of the upright. Ball goes wide. Terry putting the ball wide. Yeah. will be a bit disappointed with the result of that, but however. Father O'Neill's trail by a point. Terry Broderick, captain. He scored uh, six points in the uh, first round victory over Glenmire. They defeated Glenmire uh, on the 12th of April by uh, 14 points to 1 6. Father O'Neill is trying to do something about this. This is the left half forward and captain John Flavin. John's kick is blocked down. This is uh, Donald Ryan. Donald is who met with a heavy tackle again. And I think uh, George Sweeney is going to have to uh, have a word again with one of the uh, Pride Rovers players. He is. Checking the number there of uh, John Flavin. And it's going to be a free in. Pride Rovers. Doing very, very well to start it. Low ball in towards the full forward line again. Ball broken inside. Coming across there though was uh, right half back and cleared away. And Bright Rovers working, or uh, Father Knees rather, working the ball out the field. Long ball in, but this is going to be a race again. Pat Walsh 
getting in ahead and getting on possession of the ball. Working the ball out to the far side, Pat Barry coming out there as well to help him. Ball booted inside, up they go again. Well flicked out there by a fullback, uh, Billy Murphy, but broken down and worked out. And here come away Father O'Neill. They've played three, they're playing constantly in the last three weeks. Kieran Wall flicking the ball inside, but Pat Walsh all was reigning supreme, doing very, very well. Getting the ball out on Bright Rovers, working the ball out well. They've had a lot of experience. Terry Broderick getting in ahead of Brian O'Driscoll, passing the ball forward. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Uh, Barry Murphy there, met with a tackle but still getting the ball onto Donald Ryan. Getting the ball out. And Bright Rovers working the ball well, trying to get the ball into Colm O'Keefe. Flicked inside there by Ray O'Neill. And Father O'Neill's working away. Coming down here, Joe Holland coming forward, flicking the ball inside. Bad pass though because it's intercepted by Donald Ryan. Donald is going up the field. Bat O'Keefe is to his right. Joe, or uh, Donald Ryan flicking the ball in for Bat O'Keefe. Ray O'Neill trying to come across him, going over him. Bat getting the ball back. Flicking the ball, this is Colm O'Keefe. He's got an educated left foot. He kind of kicks it out the outside with his left foot though. And it's flicked inside and that's going to be cleared away by Billy Murphy. And father come father for, forward. Come father on Eels. This is the centre half forward, Owen Conway. Owen, very good hurler as well. Oh, well tackled though by James Murphy there. Barry Murphy rather. Barry belting the ball forward. Ball broken down. Out very, very close to the far line. Out over the line. Line ball, little B. And uh, Linesworth says that's going to be a line ball to uh, the uh, Father O'Neill team. Sean Ryan not too happy with it. Quentin Higgins will take the line ball though. Quentin setting himself up. Kind of a lowish kind of a one. Almost a kind of a pass, but it's intercepted. And here come Bright Rovers again. They're flying in again. It's going through his centre half forward there. Brendan Murphy. It's very, very good score. Brendan Walsh rather, sorry, Brendan Murphy, I said Brendan Walsh, taking the ball straight over the bar. Two points, Bright Rovers. And they lead. By two points, no score. It'll be uh, Declan O'Shea to take the kick out, Father O'Neill's. Their last two title was in 1998, they won their first in 1996, defeating Yall down in Middleton that day. Belted forward again, Donald Ryan doing very, very well at the middle of the field there. However, picked up, long ball in there, looking for Kieran Mulligan, but certainly right full back there, Brendan O'Driscoll doing very, very well. Brendan is his hand pulled, I think, as he was releasing the ball by Kieran Wall. Ball down to the middle. Kind of Brian Murphy trying to get the ball into his hand. It's taken away though and belted forward there by Ken O'Donoghue. High ball in. Whoa. Well judged inside there though by uh, Richie Gall. Richie flicking the ball out there to uh, Pat Barry. Pat further knocking the ball on there to Patrick Murphy. Belted ball down though along the wing. Coming out there. Tackled and out over the line. Line ball it'll be to uh, Father O'Neill's. They'll be happy with that. They need to get a score because they are playing with the benefit of whatever breeze is there. Booted in. Kieran Wall going down. Collected up there though by Brendan O'Driscoll. Oh, it's intercepted by full forward. But it's full forward. Ed Holland with the ball going to the right inside and the ball going wide. Looked very good. He did well to intercept it, but the ball went wide. As we said, Father O'Neill's defeated Carrick Tool to get into the final here last weekend. They beat them 3-5 uh, to 1-8 after defeating them already in the first round of the East Cork Championship on a scoreline of 12 points to 1-7. Picked up by Father O'Neill's there after improving a little bit around the middle of the field. Looking for uh, Kieran Wall again. He's done better this time. He's got the ball into his hand. Flicking the ball back inside. Good block there on uh, Jarrow O'Leary, I think. Flick the ball out and out coming there is the right full back. Brendan O'Driscoll. Brendan is late tackled, I think. And uh, it's going to be a free where the ball is going to be taken from. We'll carry on with the play. Ball flicked inside. This is the full forward. Billy Murphy trying to get in a tackle for Father O'Neill. Full forward there. Sean Ryan getting the ball back into his hand. Looking around for somebody to play with. Playing the back out to Donald Ryan. Donald, toy it in hand. He's done very well at the middle of the field. Getting the ball out here. Terry Roderick 
of Brendan Walsh rather, flicking the ball inside. Father come, Father O'Neill's again, or a Bright Rovers, doing very, very well. They're still going, and it's gone, ooh, right inside, and the ball gone wide. It looked uh, as if it was going to be a score, but uh, Patrick Murphy looked disappointed with that decision, I'm sure. Come on, Kenny, you're stuck in the game, you're throwing that in the ball. Come on! Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, Dixon. Oh, O'Shea, kicking the ball out. Ten minutes gone. Flicked forward again. Ray O'Neill. Low ball. Intercepted, though, by a bat McHugh. That getting the ball back there to Trevor Maloney. Trevor, good ball down into the corner. Picked up again there. Sean uh, Ryan flicking the ball back. Colm O'Keefe, Colm going his left, met with a tackle, he's still going. He's met with three Father O'Neill's players and he's lost possession and the ball is going to be cleared by Father O'Neill's. Long ball, they're looking for Kieran Wall again. Oh, if Kieran gets this, there's a break on here. He's got Edmund Holland inside him, he's still going. Oh, that's an excellent tackle though by uh, Brendan O'Driscoll. Very, very good defensive play. Getting the ball out here to Bat McHugh. Bat bouncing the ball, kicking the ball off his right foot. In it goes, Billy Murphy's under this though for Father O'Neill's and the experienced player himself holds on to the ball and that'll be a free out. But he's not going to waste any time because he gets the ball over there to the right half forward, Ger O'Leary. Ger, the cart liner, knocking the ball, a long ball in, but it's not going to go anywhere. Well defended inside by Richie Cahill, Bright Rovers, taking their time getting the ball out to the wing. Ball gone to ground, back inside again, they're trying to work this ball out. Bit of a high one up in the air though. Up go the two midfielders, and it's won there by very well by Trevor Maloney. But uh, Brian O'Driscoll doing very well holding off uh, Trevor, uh, uh, Terry Broderick. Ball back inside again. Flicked inside Brendan Walsh doing very well inside at the full back position. Ball going to ground. He kind of overruns it. A kind of a low uh, soccer type kick along the ground there, though by uh, Patrick Murphy. Referee Jar Sweeney giving the free in to uh, Father O'Neill. He's not sure what the uh, free was for. Patrick Murphy is pleading his innocence. <laughs> and, uh, is, uh, looks like uh, Owen McCarthy. <laughs> Set himself up here. Here he goes. It's high enough, all right, but it's gone left and wide. That's all another wide for Father O'Neill's. And uh, I don't think Owen is going to be very pleased with that. Anyway, Richie Cahill certainly won't be disappointed. Yeah, we see the, 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 the backs and the uh, the wing backs and the Father O'Neill are the bright rovers team. Absolutely. Trevor Maloney is now right half back. Patrick Murphy left. Great, very good kick out by Richie Cahill, but it's won by Father O'Neill. Picked up by Barry Murphy. Barry is uh, tackled as he kicked the ball, he claimed. Ball out over the line, line ball it'll be. Back inside, full back, Billy Murphy. Back in the ball down here to Kieran Wall. Kieran being chased by Brendan O'Driscoll. Kieran, a low one in, but it's going to be intercepted by Barry Murphy. And Barry is doing very well, but it's taken off him by Ed Holland. Edmund Holland trying to get the ball back, coming back there. This is uh, Pat Walsh getting the ball back out, and Bright Rovers work it out very cleverly. Nice quick movement of the ball. Low ball out to the far wing. That's a very, very good ball to the centre half over there, Brendan Walsh. He's already got one point. Can he make another run in it? He's being faced by centre half back Joe Holland. He's tackled by Joe Holland, fouled by Joe Holland. That's going to be a free in. Joe Sweeney says that's going to be a free. Brendan Walsh to take the, the free himself. Helting the ball in towards the corner. Up go the hands. Well intercepted, well cut inside. Beautifully cut by uh, by number 12 there. Brian Murphy! Oh! Did that hit the post? Brian Murphy made a great catch and broke straight in for goals. And I think it struck the post and the ball went wide. Oh! A bit of a let off there for uh, Father O'Neill's. 
Ryan Murphy did very, very well under pressure. He cut it in the middle of a crowd. Difficult to see who it was first. But the minute he headed for goal, it was clear to see it was him. And he struck the ball in the young hurler of the year. What a fantastic weekend he had last weekend. And he was looking for glory there as well. But Father and he is doing very, very well. Uh, Bright Rovers doing very, very well in the middle of the field. Ball into space. Nobody there except Brian O'Driscoll. And he's quite happy to fill that space. Pick up the ball. What can he do with it? Playing the ball back inside and getting the return. Losing possession of the ball though. And picked up by Brendan Walsh. Ball back out. Flicked inside again. This is uh, Sean Ryan. Sean has to take, uh, try to pass it in. But Michael Holland coming back there for uh, uh, O'Neill's. Flicking the ball back. It's flicked on again and away they come. Long clearance. Looking down there for Owen McCarthy. Owen knocking the ball down. Doing very well but it's taken away from him by Trevor Maloney. And flicked on there. Oh, foul. And there's going to be a free for uh, Bright Rovers. Patrick Murphy fouled. Takes a short one. Not a great one though. But it's, and it's, ooh, bit of a heavy tackle there. And uh, it's uh, Ken O'Donoghue and uh, I think it's Mike Hogan gone down. Yep, yeah, it's a full forward there, Mike Hogan. Coming up the field, have they changed fellas around a bit? He's Bri Terry Braddock has gone in full forward, Brian O'Driscoll has gone following him, and Mike Hogan I think is after coming out. Mike is okay I think. Sean Ryan as well, low ball in. Picked up inside. Well by Sean Ryan. He's still going. Can he finish with a score? Gets it across, but again the ball going right. The ball going wide. Looked as if it was going to go over the bar, but it didn't go. Halfway through the first half, two points to no score. In favour of Bright Rovers. So me. Father O'Neill's have had a couple of chances but haven't taken them. <laughs> and it's Declan O'Shea with the kick out. Driving the ball out with the wind into the middle of the field. Flicked up well on, picked on by Michael Holland. Looking for Owen McCarthy but coming out there is a left cornerback there um, for Bright Rovers. Pat Barry. Pat doing very, very well. Gets the ball out this wing to Bat McHugh. Donald Ryan has got the ball now. Donald doing very well in the middle of the field, looking for support, getting support though to Trevor Maloney. Trevor off the ground says the, the defence and uh, the referee agrees with him. That's uh, centre half back there, Jar Holland, Jar flicking the ball down and here come Bright Rovers trying to get forward, uh, Father trying to get forward. It's picked up though by centre half forward. Centre half forward in that case is Owen Conway. Owen getting the ball back out to uh, Ken O'Donoghue. Ken, Losing possession of the ball, looking back for it, doing very well to repossess possession as it were. Getting the ball inside, looking for Owen McCarthy. Owen is in front this time now. Can he finish with a score this time? Turning back, getting the ball back inside to John Flavin. Is that the first score of the game for O'Neill's? It is. Knocks the ball over the bar and gives Owen McCarthy a tap on the back. First score of the game for Father O'Neill's comes after 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes of the first half. A point from play by John Flavin. Two points to one. As a goalkeeper, Richie Cahill to take the kick out. Richie driving the ball out this side of the field. Don Ryan arriving for this with a couple of Father O'Neill's players. Michael Holland met, the sh met him with a shoulder. Trevor Maloney supporting well. Nice ball inside to Terry Broderick. Now, what can he do with it? Flicking the ball inside, but it's intercepted a well. And Dubai Billy o Murphy getting the ball out. Jar Holland flicking the ball forward again. And here we go. This is a Brian O'Driscoll. Brian O'Driscoll flicking the ball inside. And it's well covered back there, though. With the O'Neill's defense, or the or Bright Rovers defense doing well. Brendan O'Driscoll going across the field, though. Giving it to Terry Broderick. And Terry getting the ball further forward again. And it's well defended over there. It's Quentin Higgins getting the ball back inside. This is a. Uh, Centre half back there, centre half back, uh, knocking the ball forward. Uh, Jar Holland, 
but it's flicked away again and here come Bright Rovers. That was looked like a push in the back there, unfortunately, however. Advantage running. This is a oh well done there by Brendan Watch. He flicks the ball side. This is Sean Ryan. Now, can he finish? He's met with a tackle. Oh! Ball slipped across the goals and the ball went wide. Hoo hoo hoo. It's certainly a couple of goal chances gone a begging there, we'd have to say from the Bright Rovers point of view. And they'll be disappointed with the end result. Uh, and there's a sub on for uh, Colum O'Keefe is uh, in call ashore. And number 17, Pat O'Reilly, is coming on. And uh, kicked out once more by uh, Declan O'Shea. Out the far wing again. Booted on there by uh, James uh, Barry Murphy. Flicked forward. And that's uh, Donald Ryan trying to get an attack, but couldn't make it from a Bright Rover point of view. And here comes Father Ronnie. This is looking for Brian O'Driscoll. Flicking the ball inside. Hop beating a couple of players. Brendan O'Driscoll doing very, very well. Actually, in fairness, the full back line of. Uh, Bright Rovers are doing really well. That's a very, very good ball out to Pat McHugh. Pat getting the ball in. And this is Terry Broderick. Terry, the captain of Bright Rovers, trying to lead him to glory today. He's uh, fouled, and that's going to be free. He's going to take the free quickly. He's not. He's being told to put it down by uh, supporters. He's inside the 45 meter line. He's going to kick it off his hand. Terry Broderick. Kicking, that's not going to go over the bar. It's not going to go anywhere. Oh, it's a goal! It's a goal! Was it Brian Murphy who got his fist in it? It's, it certainly looked like it. It certainly looked like it. It looks like Brian Murphy was the man who got his fist in it. And uh, that's a very, very good score. A goal for Bright Rovers. And you would have to say, with the way they were playing and the way the number of chances they had created, they were uh, well worth their um, goal. Anyway, we'll follow the play. We think it was Brian Murphy. Mm, not totally sure, but uh, they won't care. It's 1-2 to a point. Todd yeah. O'Neill certainly won't be happy with that. Pat Riley and Ray O'Neill. Low ball, but it's uh, Bat McHugh. Certainly, the midfield is taking over. Pat O'Reilly flicking the ball forward. This is Mike Hogan. Mike with his left foot kicking the ball right across the field. Don Ryan around to be speeding up to get that, but he will. Picking the ball up. Now, what's he look for? He's looked for help and he's got it. Ball back out here to, to uh, Trevor Maloney. Working the ball, but they've lost possession and Father O'Neill's back's doing, doing better in that case. Break free now. But, uh, shoulders, three Bright Rovers players arriving there and they're doing very, very well. But it's picked up there by the centre half forward. Centre half forward is Owen Conway. Owen is fouled and that's going to be a free in. Owen is uh, telling him to take it easy. Looking for the, ball, the man inside. The man inside is the full forward. Full forward is number 12, John Flavin. But John kicking the ball across the goals and the ball going wide. <laughs> Richie Cahill. Take the kick out and I'm certain he's going to be taking his time. 23 minutes gone here in the first half, maybe. He's going to be, and that's a good kick into the wind again. Up they go, it's going to go over me all Alan's head. But it's picked up there. And this is uh, Brian O'Driscoll. Brian, a low fall forward. Picked up so John Flavin, picking the ball up this time. He's passing the ball out to the wing. Comes out here. This is Jor O'Leary. Jor, can he finish with a score? He can't. And is uh, claiming he was tackled and fouled as he kicked the ball. The referee, Jor Sweeney at Glenville. Not agreeing on this occasion. Certainly, George Sweeney coming from Glenville. They've had a very, very good year. They're uh, the number of players. They're, their football team would have, Glenville football team, had a number of football players 
that would be involved with the Watergrass Hill hurling team that won the Cork County Intermediate Hurling Championship and also last weekend the Glenville National School won the Common Amon Skull All-Ireland Award. However, back at this East uh, Cork football final, Father O'Neill is trying to come back into the game more. It's Owen Conway trying to kick the ball across the goals. It's very, very close, but it's gone to the right hand side of the upright and the ball going wide. Owen won't be happy with that. Richie Cahill to take the kick out once more. He'll be taking his time. En route to this final, of course, Bright Rovers defeated Glanmire, Middleton, St. Catharines, and then had a fantastic three goal win over Aaron Zone in the semi final and uh, laid the bogey in the last two years. However, Father O'Neill is coming forward, John Flavin coming through. He's got the ball on the ground. He's going back for it though, he's gone to ground. Hops it once, kicking with his left, goes up in the air. Three Bright Rovers players waiting for it, and it's flicked away, and that's Pat Barry. And Pat doing really well, getting the ball out to Donald Ryan. Donald doing really well, and over this far side here is Terry Broderick. Terry Broderick is being told to boot the ball. This is Brendan Walsh, that's a very, very good ball. Breaking the ball forward. This is Sean Ryan. Now, can Sean finish with a score? He's searching, and that's looking very good. And he knocks it off the post, and over the bar. Very, very good score. Sean Ryan putting the ball over the bar. Putting the ball over the bar to make it 1-3 in favour of Bright Rovers and only the one point still for Father O'Neill's. Declan O'Shea to take the kick out. Up it goes. Oh, well picked up there by Don Ryan again. They're absolutely flying at the moment. Flicking the ball inside from Pat O'Reilly. Getting the ball back outside. This is Sean Ryan. Back in to uh, Pat O'Reilly. Back across the goals. Is this the fourth point? No, it's not because it's well collected inside. Terry Broderick, I think, had a shot there. But it's not going to go over the bar because it's uh, cleared away by the uh, Unis defence as they work the ball up the far side of the field. They look again, Jar Holland looking for Owen McCarthy. Owen doing well, getting the ball, but it's flicked away. Pat O'Barry doing very well as well. But forward they come again. That's Owen Conway looking for uh, for uh, Kieran Wall, John Flavin, but it's booted on the ground. And here come Rovers again as they work up the far side of the field here in Dungourney. As the wind is strengthening, it's very, very difficult to see into it. And it's flicked inside. By, uh, but Billy Murphy collecting it up over there and O'Neill is trying to get the ball out looking the ball forward again here they come this is uh, Owen Conway looking for Kieran Moore it's Brendan O'Driscoll doing well and Pat, Pat Walsh there at full back reigning supreme they, Padraig Murphy over the far side getting the ball out keeping it simple centre half back in that case and there's Barry Murphy Barry getting the ball out there and there's referee and now there's a bit of an after the ball stuff that was uh, Pat Barry. Three, tell him to uh, calm down. Not sure actually what happened there, and uh, referee George Sweeney. It's in the ball, I think. Is he going to give a throw in now for a little bit of um, after the ball stuff? Yep. Ken O'Donoghue and uh, Pat McHugh in the middle of the field. Referee having a chat with the linesman there, seeing what, uh, what he can do. Yep, it's a throw in ball. Up they go. It's flicked forward, but it's picked up there by the centre half back, Jor Holland. Jor knocking the ball forward further, but it's knocked away there from full forward Ed Holland. And here come Bright Rovers again. Flicked inside by Terry Broderick. Terry knocking the ball back to Terry Maloney. Terry getting the ball inside to Sean Ryan. Sean is fouled, and that's going to be a free in, I think. Yep, it's going to be a free in. Quentin Higgins. And uh, putting, the, putting the ball into his end is Terry Broderick. Is this going to be another point here? 28 and a half minutes gone. In the first half. Terry Broderick looking for Father O'Neill's or a Bright Rover score. It's looking very good and it is very good. Kicks it into the wind and over the bar and Bright Rover's lead.
on a score of one goal and four points to just the single point. for O'Neill's. Declan O'Shea, certainly the busier of the two goalkeepers, even though he is playing with the wind. Kicking the ball out, slanting around the middle of the field. Donald Ryan getting his fist to it, flicking the ball forward and getting the return. It's out to the wing here, but it might work out, and Brian O'Driscoll doing very well. Quick, short hand passing and booting the ball forward again. They're looking for Owen McCarthy. Pat Barry runs out under it. And referee George Sweeney says, Owen, give him a bit of a shove in the back there, and that's going to be a free out. Patrick Murphy, leaving the ball behind. Pat Barry going back to take it. Booting the ball. Right down the middle it goes. Well cut back there, but it's, oh, it's going to be cut again. And it's coming over here. And this is Mike Hogan. And Mike's got a player inside him, but he takes his score. Another point for Bright Rovers. And they're doing really, really well here. And exactly on the 30th minute of the first half, Another point for Bright Rovers finishing the scoring here in this East Cork Junior A Football Championship final in the first half. The score at half time here with a much happier, obviously, Bright Rovers side. They lead on the score of 1 5 to Father O'Neill's 1 point. And we're almost here, ready to go for the second half. Father and Eels really need to get a couple of early scores to get back in the game. Bright Rovers would be imagining to themselves that if they can get an early score, they will finish off the game. <clears throat> a free George Sweeney in the middle of the field here in Dungourney. Pitch looks in perfect condition. Quite a good day in fairness to, uh, to uh, the weather for this time of the year on the 4th of December. But um, he's just checking his watch, checking with both sides. Bright Rovers leading, 1-5, one, 1 point, and are they on their way to the first time ever of winning the East Cork Junior A Football Championship decider? They certainly will hope that. O'Neill's will be hoping to win their third. George Sweeney just telling the players to go back. Not sure what he's quite ready, waiting for. Is he waiting for... Yeah, everybody looks to be ready. Moving around and all that kind of stuff. And players are ready, he's checking his watches. Ball is in, game is on, and here we go. 30 minutes left in this. And Father needs breakaway, but Padraig Murphy is there first. And he boots the ball forward. Looking forward, this is Sean Ryan, who did a very, very good fab. Ooh, he almost flicked the ball into the first half and is booted away along the ground. And it's picked up by Brian O'Driscoll over there. Brian trying to get forward. <clears throat> Still going. He's fouled, says referee Jersweeney. That's going to be a free in. Or a free out for. Um, for uh, Father O'Neill's. Ball down the far wing. Taken away, this is uh, immediately centre half back there, Charles Holland, but it's blocked down. He's got rid the ball back again though. Try get, this is uh, Owen Conway, Owen soloing, up the, knocking the ball inside, and John Flavin is inside. He's pushed in the back, is he? No. Referee says that's going to be a, a throw up, and uh, it's a throw up it is. <sighs> And the throw it is, throw up it is. And now he's, uh, yep, there it is. Throwing the ball up, flick forward again. Oh, he's worked it on, but it's picked up there by uh, Patrick Murphy, flicking the ball outside. And away comes uh, 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 Terry Maloney. But it's intercepted. Michael Holland getting the ball out. This is Jar O'Leary. What can Jar do? Jar kicking. It's not going to go over the bar though because the ball has gone wide. And uh, Richie Cal will be having a good look to see where his uh, options are. Ball out the middle of the field. Up they go. Ball flicked forward and Father O'Neill certainly have started very well. Uh, Don Ryan managed to get in a tackle there and he managed to uh, pick up the ball as well. He's fouled, says referee. And that's going to be a free. Bit of after has gone on there as well. And uh, certainly 
Pride Rovers will be not wasting around any time for this. Ball down the far wing, going to toe to hand. This is Terry Broderick flicking the ball back across the middle of the field. Mike Hogan flicking the ball back inside. This is Terry Broderick kicking. The crowd doesn't like it because the ball goes right and the ball goes wide. Certainly by Rovers. And uh, George Sweeney kicking there on the health of, uh, I think this is uh, George Holland. Says he's okay. Pat O'Reilly is now left half forward. Is Brian Murphy gone in close to the goals? Uh, Brian Murphy has gone in left corner forward. And it looks like Joe O'Leary is back corner back to follow him. Anyway, we'll follow the play. Declan Murphy with the, Declan O'Shea with the kick out. Keeping the ball on the wing. Dilly Murphy feeling very well there though to intercept the ball for O'Neill's. And here comes George Holland. Can O'Neill's make a bit of a comeback? They trail by seven. Getting the ball out there is uh, Ray O'Neill. Ray passing the ball back to George Holland. George is crossing the 45 meter line. Now, can he finish with a score? Good ball in. Oh, low ball in. Ball going left and the ball going wide. And after all their uh, very good work, O'Neill's spoiled it all there on the finish by sending the ball wide. Is uh, Barry Murphy sent off back for uh, Bright Rovers? Okay, a bit of treatment. Yeah, he's okay, I think. Shoulder, he seems to be the problem. George Sweeney says, let's carry on, we'll kick it out. Goalkeeper, Richie Cahill, kicking the ball out this side of the field. Oh, well intercepted and booted on further by Podrick Murphy. A couple of players going to ground, but this is... Uh, 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 Ken O'Donnell kicking the ball forward. This is getting the ball forward. Flick back inside again. Can he finish with a score? Oh, it's intercepted by Patrick Murphy, who's doing quite well actually in the half back line there for Bright Rovers. Getting the ball over uh, Jordan O'Leary's head. This is uh, ooh, kind of a nothing ball again by the uh, right half back there, Pat Herman. But the ball is intercepted again, and this is uh, up the wing again. And if Father O'Neill's can put it together a bit more like this, they'll do a lot better. Oh, careless play there by uh, the, 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 the Father O'Neill's forward. He didn't put his two hands in the ball, as it were. Flicked inside there again. There was a slight foot trip there, it seemed, but the referee says it was accidental. And ball playing on. Trevor Maloney playing really, really well as well, knocking the ball up the field. And that's going to be a free, but it's flicked inside again. And here come uh, Mike Hogan, oh, Sean Ryan, rather. Ball going right, the ball going wide. Certainly there was a little bit of a, an opportunity there. Low ball kicked out the wing here, and away goes uh, Father O'Neill's. This is uh, Jor O'Leary. Jor kicking a low ball in and a good one in. Dick, uh, Ray, uh, Ray O'Neill kicking the ball out to the middle of the field. He's after coming away out the field. Low ball in again, into the forward, flicked inside again. Up they go. This is uh, number four there, left half back, Pat Barry, getting the ball out to uh, Pat Walsh. Pat Walsh, going to be met by Mike Holland. Is met by Mike Holland. Low ball, d d ball down the wing to Donald Ryan. The crowd liked that last one, but uh, ball has gone on as the, the clouds are gathering in here in Dungourney. It's a lot darker than you're seeing on your uh, video screen at the moment. But uh, it's a high ball in. Ball broken in and claimed by the O'Neill defence. And away we go again. Ball out the wing. A lot of quick movement and moving around the field. And it's, it's blocked down again. Low ball down the wing. And here we go. Father O'Neill's this time. They won't clear the ball this time because it's picked up by the Bright Rovers defence. And it's Terry Broderick inside. What can he do with it? It's gone to ground. Referee says it's a free out for overholding. And Moved on. Referee still isn't happy with Avarat and George Sweeney. The uh, say Bat McHugh in the middle of the field, not feeling 100%. Referee George Sweeney having a little word with him. And uh, is there a substitute coming on. Substitute, it's. Uh, Rightful forward Owen McCarthy is being called ashore and uh, number 18 for O'Neill's is Podge Butler. Podge Butler after coming on. Uh, 
now. And it's intercepted again. A lot of loose play early here in the first half. Mialan getting the ball out to Billy Murphy. Intercepted but coming forward again. And playing the ball down the far wing. Low ball in. This is at Owen Conway. Owen ball belted away forward again. Oh, getting the ball inside again. This is Terry Broderick. That doesn't look good. And the ball going left and the ball going wide. And we're about eight minutes gone here in the second half. Lots of chances. No score. Kick out to be taken here by uh, Declan O'Shea. And here it comes. Out the far wing. Out the near wing, rather. Flick to forward again. And uh, Keno don't know who kicking the ball forward, but nobody there ex except full back uh, Pat Walsh. Pat flicking the ball back. This is uh, Brendan O'Driscoll. Coming the ball forward, but it's nobody there but an O'Neill's man. And now, can they c take advantage of this? Kicking the ball inside again. It's kicked in, and it's gone right, and the ball has gone wide of the goals. No scores, squander, chances on both sides being squandered. A certain amount of um, uh, the, 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 the intensity is still in the game, but certainly it looks as if both sides are almost thinking of that this is going to be Bright Rovers Day. They still lead on a score of 1-5 to 1 point. Out this far side it goes. Out of the 45 meter line. And here come Bright Rovers again. This is uh, Terry Maloney. He's uh, gone to ground. Looking for a scrum half almost as it were. And the scrum half in this case is back McHugh. Met with a shoulder. This is Donald Ryan. Donald picking the ball up. And he's kicking the ball in towards the side. There's a bit of a tackling before the ball arrives. And I think that actually is the correct decision. And uh, that's Sean Ryan is fouled. Tackled by Quentin Higgins. And that's going to be a free end. And this is going to be Terry Broderick. And this should suit him. About 33 or 4 metres out from goals. It's on the just to the left hand side of the upright. It should suit Terry's kick. It's kicked in. It's curling in. And it's gone straight over the bar. First score of the second half. From a Bright Rovers point of view. Comes after about 10 minutes of play. And it's 1 6 to 1 point. Declan O'Shea to take the kick out again, and that should steady a lot of nerves on the Bright Rover side of the field. Declan O'Shea kicking the ball out and kicking it very well, landing around the middle of the field. Forward again, and it's belted forward again, out to the far side. This is uh, Kieran Wall. Kieran has the ball knocked away from number Brendan O'Shea, picked up by Donald Ryan, who's covered acres of space here. Uh, tackle, and that's going to be a free in, I think. And referee George Sweeney not happy with that. It's gone over to have a word with um, Billy Murphy. Billy Murphy claiming he kicked to his, his uh, shoulder. George Sweeney. It's going to be taken by, um, I think that's Brendan Walsh, the centre half forward for uh, Bright Rovers. I think Kicking the ball out across the field, in it goes, it's flicked inside, can they finish with a score, Sean Ryan is arriving on the scene but he won't win it because it's coming out, intercepted by Donald Ryan, Donald looking for Patrick Murphy, looking inside here, Terry Broderick took his eye off the ball for a second but recovered possession, getting the ball out, this is Patrick Murphy, that's not going to go over the bar though, it's gone left and wide, is uh, Ken who I think maybe gone off the... Uh, by Rover's team, or O'Neill's team rather. Can't see him around the middle of the field. I think uh, Ray O'Neill is in the middle of the field. And uh, I think Ken may be, may be gone. However, we follow the play. Declan O'Shea kicking the ball out. Michal Holland is broken forward again. This is Pat O'Reilly. Pat flicking the ball back. This is uh, Pat McHugh. Pat getting the ball back further. They've worked the ball back to their own 65. James Murphy, shot is half interceptedly blocked and gets the ball eventually. Works its way from Brian O'Driscoll to Michal Holland to forward again to Kieran Wall. Kieran is not able to pos pos gain possession of the ball. <laughs> Charles Sweeney just checking on the health there of, uh, I think it's uh, Pat McHugh went back there for that one. 
yeah, he's gone down. And uh, I think he's going to be okay though. Referee, George Feeney just stopping his watch. Trevor Maloney with the ball in his hand. Looking around for a few other changes. Uh, Brendan Walsh is out now, uh, right half forward. And uh, looking around for uh, the rest of the players. John Flavin, yeah, we're still there. Booted forward. And it's intercepted well, and Fotherly is actually doing quite well. This is Jar O'Leary. Jar picking the ball up, going a bit of a run. He's bouncing the ball, not a very maybe wise decision. Well blocked by uh, left off over there, Brian Murphy. Line ball, this is Jar O'Leary. And driving the ball forward, it goes. Kieran Wall looking for this one, but it's going to be intercepted by Brendan Walsh. Brendan collecting the ball, Brendan O'Driscoll rather. Picking the ball up, but it's broken forward, and uh, O'Neill's pick it up again. And it's bouncing the ball on the ground, the ball just won't come up for them. Picked off the ground, and uh, crowd said picked off the ground, so maybe justice, maybe the ball was rolling, so maybe that's the uh, the argument that Ray O'Neill would have. And uh, goes uh, wide. I see they're having a check in the, the health there of centre half back Barry Murphy. Barry's shoulder seems to be bothering him, but uh, he'll be hoping to play on because they're doing very well. They lead 1-6 to a point. Kicked out by Richie Cahill. Down the middle it goes. Was there a push in the back there? And there was on one of the Bright Rovers players. Booted forward. They're looking over there on the far side of the field. Ball broken forward. Picked up by Brian O'Driscoll. Brian met by Brendan Walsh. Passing the ball forward, and here come O'Neill's. They're doing a little bit better, actually, in fairness, again, against the wind. Ball crossing the 45 meter line of Jar Holland. Jar passing the ball inside. Picked up inside. Flicked across here. This is coming across here to Jar O'Leary. Back to John Flavin. That looks awfully wide. And it is. It's gone well wide. As a sub coming on the um, Ride Rovers team. Jane, uh, Barry Murphy coming off and uh, coming on there just checking who it is. Number 19 is uh, Aidan Collins. So Aidan Collins is on, which means O'Neill's doing a bit, but Podge Butler, Podge flick it inside. This is Owen Conway. Owen flicking the ball back to John Flavin. Oh, it's gone over the bar. It's their second point in the game after about 15 minutes of the second half it's a point for Father O'Neill's and their second point of the match 1-6-2 points is it a bit premature to be saying that it's going to be a fight back from the uh, Father O'Neill's team but certainly a goal would make a little bit different a little bit of difference anyway we'll see where the next score goes Richie Cahill kicking the ball out the far side of the wheel and Michal Holland coming forward and this is Father O'Neill doing a little bit better but that's well intercepted there and Patrick Murphy doing really well getting the ball up the field forward and here they break quickly again now now could this be the chance that Father O'Neill has been waiting for all along broken forward there and Brendan Walsh doing very very well wins the free it's going to be uh, free and I think yeah and Terry Broderick going over to take it settling the game down Settling the game down, out to the right, it was a difficult angle though for him. About 34 metres out from goals, 34, 35 metres out from goals, out to the right hand side of the upright. He's kicking, kicks it across the goals, got the ball going left and the ball going right. It was a difficult kick for a right footed kicker as it was out to the right hand side of the uprights. However, by Rovers won't be too unhappy in that they still lead by seven points and they are down in the O'Neill's half. Declan O'Shea kicking the ball out and and here goes Jar Holland and uh, Father O'Neill's doing well. Terry Broderick trying to get the ball away from him though. Out to the far side of the field. This is John Flavin. John getting the ball ahead of Owen, Owen Conway rather going in towards the goals. He's still going. He loses possession of the ball. Three right overs lads and one of them back there is Pat Walsh. 
and Pat, they're not wasting any time getting the ball out the field. Broken down. This is Brendan Walsh. Kiki with his left foot down along the wing. Brian Murphy trying to chase away away from Pat Irwin. It's still Brian Murphy. Going, it's, it's number 17, Pat O'Reilly rather. Pat O'Reilly. Pat O'Reilly, George Sweeney, the referee. And uh, yeah, Pat O'Reilly and Pat Irwin chasing for the ball there. As a, as a Brendan Walsh, I think, may have damaged his hamstring. He's going off on the far side of the field, is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's holding the back of his leg. And Kieran Hines, the man who trained for my last year to win the North Cork Championship, having a word with him. And off he goes. And this looks like, yeah, number 22, Jerome O'Driscoll. Very, very experienced player. Jerome O'Driscoll coming on. I think it was the last run there, did Brendan Walsh. Terry Broderick, I would imagine, will not be taking a short one. I would imagine we'll have a go for this one. He does, but that's not going to go over the bar. It might even go wide. It does go wide, actually. The far side of the goal is the ball going wide. Only two points being scored in the second half so far. <laughs> Dexon O'Shea with the kick out. We have approximately... 11, 12 minutes left in the game. Kicking the ball down, right down the middle, one point each, the score at half time. But unfortunately for Father O'Neill's, that's not going to be good enough because they trail 1 5 to a point at half time. Ball very, very close to the line. Player gone down, and the ball is going to be uh, free out, I think, from what it was. O'Neill supporters giving a few ironic cheers. Billy Murphy was fouled, that's going to be a free out. Billy? Taking a short, it's kind of a one. It's gone down along with Brian O'Driscoll, give it back to Billy. And Billy taking a kick out the middle of the field. And this is uh, Joe Holland. And here come Father O'Neill's Donald, Mar Donald Ryan, actually, in the middle of the field. They're trying to make difference. Mike Hogan getting across as well to tackle. Ball down to the wing. It's flicked forward again. This is Donald Ryan coming back for it. Passing the ball back. And uh, Bright Rover's doing really, really well. Working very, very well together. Ball down to the corner. This is Jerome O'Driscoll. Jerome being faced by Billy Murphy. It's knocked out of Jerome's hand. There's a foul there. There's a free in. George Sweeney says that's going to be a free in. Jerome feeling the effects of that tackle. Is he going to take the free himself or is he going to leave it? I think he's may, he may leave it. Yeah, he's going to take it himself from the ground. Difficult free again for a right footed kicker. This would be uh, some kick if he kicked it over. The wind is in his favour. It's high enough, but it's not going to go over. It's curling out again, flicked outside again. Outside it comes again, and it's kicked over the bar this time by Terry Roderick. Getting adding another point, and uh, one seven, two points. Terry certainly playing a captain's part. Uh, this is uh, Declan O'Shea with the kick out again. And certainly now, would Bright Rovers appear to have weathered any storm that was uh, being produced? And here they come, breaking forward again. This is Trevor Maloney kicking the ball across the goals here. This is Pat O'Reilly. Pat, what's he going to do with it? Is he going to have a shot curling in towards the goals? Being met with a couple of Bright Rovers defenders. Ball gone to ground. Michael Holland gets the ball up. Terry Broderick. And there's a bit of activity there. Out over the line. Leal Allen, certainly giving his all. Jar Holland kicking the ball forward. Owen Conway met with a tackle there by Brendan Walsh. Ball gone to ground, picked up by uh, Pat O'Reilly. Uh, not Pat O'Reilly, rather, that was uh, Terry, uh, Terry Maloney, rather. Ball, Trevor Maloney, rather, out of the line, ball gone to ground. 
And here come O'Neill's again, trying to work their way back into Brian O'Driscoll. Can he go over? This is Jarrell Leary. Jar, low kind of a ball in, but there's nobody inside there. So Richie Cahill, goalkeeper for Father O'Neill's, passing the ball out. And away comes Brendan O'Driscoll. Father and, and Bright Rovers, Pat McHugh getting, Pat McHugh getting the ball over. Bright Rovers certainly seem to have really settled down again and playing a little bit better again now. And uh, while they may not be playing fantastically well, are well in control of this game. Foul there on uh, the uh, George Sweeney, referee, having a word. Short is kind of a one taken. Billy Murphy. Kick it forward. Nobody, the Patrick Murphy flicking the ball out to the side. They'll put back in again. Out to this far side, Michal Holland breaking the ball down. And it's well won there by Joe Holland. Joe Holland now, can he go forward again? There's a little bit of space there. This is coming to Owen Conway. Can they finish with the score here? Ball back out to John Flavin again. No, that's not going to go over the bar. It's curled away left and wide. You can see the wind take it away there in the breeze and the ball goes wide. About seven, eight minutes left in the match. The score, one goal and seven to two points. It's looking very, very good for Bright Rovers, Richie Cahill, to take the kick out. See how to with it. He's got a man out this way if he wants him. Aidan Collins, making himself available. Down the middle it goes, up go the hands, down comes the ball and O'Neill's winners are on the middle of the field. They're doing actually quite well, Podge Butler getting the ball into his hand. He's knocked the ground, getting the ball out, it's flicked inside from John Flavin. This is Ray O'Neill, he's ball knocked off his foot, nice dummy. Ball back to us to goal but it's intercepted by uh, Pat Welch. He's fouled, he wasn't says the referee. Good tackle by Donald Ryan, came from nowhere to take the ball off Jordan Holland, but Jordan doing really well to gain, regain possession. Getting the ball out to the far side, Eddie Holland. Eddie Holland passing the ball back inside. This is Jordan Holland booting the ball in, it could go anywhere, it's got by Owen Conway, and it's a goal! Owen Conway burying the ball in the back of the net, and uh, have we got a game yet, maybe? Have we got a game yet? It's one goal and two to one goal and seven. And if uh, if only he's pulled out another goal in the darkening skies here to Dungourney, maybe we could have a game of this yet. Richie Cal will be taking all his time. 24 minutes gone in the second half, 25 almost. Five minutes left in. Is, is, is there too little time left? Next score will be crucial. Looking for uh, Sean Ryan. And that's where it goes, and that's where it gets to. Wins the ball in, under pressure. Well collected over there, and uh, here come Bright Rovers, trying to come forward a bit more. It's going to go very, very close to the line, but it's played on. Inside by Pat O'Reilly. Jerome O'Driscoll inside, trying to win, get away from Quentin Higgins. He's got the ball in his hands. He's uh, turning, gets the ball out. It comes to, oh, it's, possession is lost. This is uh, Brian Murphy. Getting the ball across the goals. He's still going on oh, goal! Brilliant goal! Great, great goal! Super goal, and that will surely be that. That's the second goal that will uh, fix it now. And uh, it's um, Brian Murphy getting his second goal in the match. Surely, surely ending it now as a contest. Aidan Collins packing the ball back. Pat Walsh booting the ball high up in the air. Up go the hands. Don Ryan flicking the ball back inside. Comes out here. Trevor Maloney, low kind of a ball. Brian Murphy, Donal Ryan. Donal met with a couple of tackles. Looking for someone to pass it to. Won by uh, Ray O'Neill, getting the ball to Brian Murphy. Number of uh, after action, team, Podge Butler will follow the play. This is Owen Conway. Owen, who got a goal there a few minutes ago. This is Jordan O'Leary. Jordan wanted to speed it up a bit because it's been converged on by a number of the Bright Rovers defence. 
kicked in by John Flavin, Willard Curl, no it won't. And uh, referee George Sweeney about to come out now and sort out the after, after hours activity as it were. <laughs> Telling everybody, calm down, cool it down. To Pride Rovers lads. And there's another sub coming in for uh, number 18 is uh, Barry Johnson. It's coming on. And Michael Hogan I think is being called ashore. Yep. Mike Hogan going off. And uh, where's uh, Barry going to go? He's going to go right half forward around, I'd say. On the middle of the ball out this thing. Podge Butler doing quite well since he came on here. Being chased over here now. Very, very close to the line. Low ball in along the ground. It won't come back to him again. Aidan Collins going back to collect it. And away comes Pat Walsh. Pat passing the ball out here to Pat Barry. Back to Pat Walsh and Pat just belting it forward. Sean Ryan flicking the ball forward. Picked up by Father O'Neill's. Passing the ball forward again is Ray O'Neill. It's belted inside, but it's going to be intercepted. Trevor Maloney played very, very well. Getting the ball out here to Donald Ryan. Donald Ryan. He met by Pat Mulcahy, and he's put out over the line. It's going to be uh, uh, Mike Holland. Belted forward. Patrick Murphy will collect this, though, though for Bright Rovers as it darkens here further and further again. Pat Barry, low ball down along the wing. This is uh, Bat McHugh, Bat out the far wing, this Barry Johnson, but Barry doesn't hold on to it. Barry fouls the uh, Father O'Neill's player, and that's going to be a free in on the 70 metre line, 65 metre line. Low ball in it goes again. Looked very close to the ground, getting the ball forward to Joe Holland. Joe passing the ball inside. This is Joe O'Leary. Joe dances Ed around Ed Holland. Back into uh, Joe Holland. It's blocked. And Bright Rover is going to clear it. Just looking for a uh, uh, touch, as it were, out of the line. Line ball it'll be. Number 17 for uh, is uh, Killian Swain. Very, very close to the end line. Father O'Neill's keeping in play. In along the ground. Picked up again. Going to ground is uh, Killian Swain. It's going to be a free in. I'd say they will probably try uh, blasting operations here, maybe, because uh, we've only got about a minute left of play, if even that. And uh, Drew is going to take it. And uh, a bit of a dance here between uh, Pat Barry and Brian O'Driscoll, going for a little waltz. And both players being separated by referee George Sweeney and. and uh, Joe Holland, tell him to go away. Gonna have a word with Pat Barry, I think. Referee Joe Sweeney, gonna say something to him now. He's having a chat with his umpires first. Bill Cody. Bill Cody. chat with Joe Sweeney. Not a sub on for uh, Pride Rovers. Just checking who it is. Number 20, number 20 is Hugh Kelleher. And uh, George Sweeney talking to Pat Barry. Yeah, he's on George. Brian Murphy going off. Yellow card for uh, Pat Barry. Meanwhile, this is John Flavin to take the free. What's he going to do with it? His side trail 2 7 to 1 2. Can he do with it now? He'd surely put it over the bar because I see it goes for the goal. It could be, it's saved on the goal line and away it comes. And it's cleared away out of, towards the sideline. Trevor Maloney doing very, very well there. Get the ball out to Donald Ryan. Donald going a bit of a solo run. Quick break on here. Oh, it's a lovely ball inside again. Oh, dropped outside there by Hugh Kelleher. Hugh plays the ball out to the far side. This is Barry Johnson kicking. No, won't go over the bar. And passed away here, and this is Quentin Higgins. Ball down to ground. Very, very cold here. The power went. Working the ball forward again. And this is Ray on, uh, this is a uh, full forward Ed Holland. He's still going forward. Pat Irwin has gone running, racing with him. Can they maybe finish with a score? Owen Conway getting the ball out to the far wing. Great shot, good save by Richie Cahill. 
and there the referee George Sweeney blows the whistle. The game finishes in a very, very good win for the men from Bright Rovers. They win their first Jim Ryan trophy, which the trophy which commemorates that great Watergrass Hill man and is used to celebrate the East Cork Junior A football championship victory. It's their first victory in their history. Bright Rovers are the champions. Father O'Neill's are vanquished on this case and in this day because the final score is 2-7 for Bride Rovers, 1-2 for Father O'Neill's. <laughs> We won our first two in the Hurling Championship after two years of existence, but it took us 76 years to win the first two in the Football Championship. Which are, and how? A winner's a winner? A winner's a winner, and yet it's amazing. Nice to have us. Thank you very much. Uh, not at all. Uh, no. We were well warmed up, so we were. I'm not feeling any of this for sure. If you saw that old sort of thing. I'm a Zeus here. The words of wisdom. I said, yeah. You know, you need to be caught by our right to get you going. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all, yeah. I'm going to look on board right now. More than an hour, Dumpster, on Shaw Nov, on Cotton, Shaw's Vorian, Vrunner, the Fellen, Fana Hambrida, a Voig, Crave Comortus Pell, Shosha, right now. Gone break us more, listen, Raytor, Garod Sivna. Agerson Club, uh, Dungorni, Mart Fion Park, uh, Gohaling, uh, Unshaw. <laughs> On behalf of the East Cock Board, I'm delighted to be here this evening to present the Jim Ryan Cup uh, to Bride Rovers in winning the East Cock Junior A Football Championship for the very first time. Well done. <laughs> coming to uh, Bright Rovers. We've been beaten in the last two finals and I think another year beaten in a match down in Liz Gould when Klein got a last minute goal. There were years that Bright Rovers felt they should have won the championship. But you know, it's sweet to win it after losing the last two years and I'm delighted that uh, the club uh, you know, has come to the top in Junior A football and uh, well done and hopefully the club can go on and maybe even achieve higher things at uh, football in the club and maybe compete at intermediate level in the next couple of years. So. On behalf of the board, I'd like to just thank a few people. Uh, first of all, the sponsors of the championship, Michael O'Connor Motor Factors in Glenmire. They've been very generous to us and sponsored the Men of the Match Award as well. I'd like to thank Dungorni Club for the facilities here today. I think the pitch was in great order. We got it checked out last weekend and we heard that it was in good order, so we we're very happy to put it in here. I'd like to thank the referee, as I said, Joe Sweeney and his full team of officials. Joe was a wonderful referee and doing a lot of it for us. And I'd like to thank him sincerely for a great job. Well done, Joe. the match award today and uh, the press people and Willie Ring and myself uh, were kind of involved in selecting the man of the match and there was a, a few players I suppose in contention uh, throughout the field from goalie out from Richie out right out to the uh, full forward line but uh, we came down in favour of a player he was marking one of the best players I suppose on the team it was a bit ironic because the man that he was marking had no hair and no fella had not hair we presented to Don Wright Them. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get them. 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 I
So really look, it's a, it's a bit ironic too because in 1998 when we presented the Jonah Holling Cup, we just got it revamped and redone. So this year we decided that we do the football and lo and behold Bright Rovers win it again. So in fairness to Terry, I think he's been a wonderful player. He played under 12 football when I was involved with him when he was nine years of age and at that stage he was seen. You know, he had fantastic potential. I know he made it as a hauler afterwards, but in fairness, no one deserves it more. No, no one deserves it more than Terry. He's been an outstanding man in the club. He was secretary. He's involved with underage teams now as well. So, Terry, it's a great honour to present this fabulous trophy to you. Well done. I'm Con Shaw Blocker. I was fun and a breather, lads. Yeah. Lads, just a few words. Um, look, lads, this has been a long time coming. Um, we, uh, we've we trained hard the last couple of months, and I'd like to put a special word of thanks to uh, the three selectors, Pat McHugh, uh, John Murphy, and Barney Driscoll, and a special thanks to Kieran Hines, who came out from Fomoy, or Kieran Kilworth, to give us a hand in the football, lads, and taught us a few different things, and I hope it paid dividend today, and it did. So thanks very much, lads. I'd like to dedicate this thing obviously to the team that won it and all the mentors and what have you but I especially like to dedicate this to past footballers down through the years the likes of Tom Kearney, Connie Barry who never who were class footballers and probably never won a whole lot under, in the football because the hurling was a priest and so lads this is dedicated to you lads we're bringing it back yeah. um, I'd like to thank again the supporters lads you're brilliant for turning out in such great numbers yeah. <laughs> That's Jamie Driscoll! <laughs> uh, we really appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to hear a roar when, 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 when you need it lads, to get you going. Lads. So thanks very much to the supporters that all turned out here today. Um, we'd like to thank the sponsors, who uh, were commenters, who, who uh, gave us a uh, great sponsorship last year and this year, and hopefully they'll stick with us for another couple of years. He's getting good service today, I think. <laughs> and I'd like to thank Farnese for a great sporting game. I hope they won't regret just this. We've been to three finals in the South Tournament and we had to win it and it's our first time we've ever done it. So I'd, I'd like to thank Farnese for a very sporting game and we give him three cheers. Hip hop! Hooray! Hip hop! Hooray! Hip hop! No, no. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have one of you. I have one of you. I have one of you. I have one have a chat. I have one of you. I have one of have a chat. one of you. I have 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 of course, Brian, uh, we've been at a long time. I suppose hurling is the big thing in, in Bride Rovers, but uh, we're not bad footballers when it comes down to it. We've been to, to two finals and we got hammered by Aaron's own in the last two years, but I think we're, we weren't going to lose today no matter what, you know? Well, I, I don't I think I got hammered by Aaron's own. I mean, okay, last year was probably the worst one, but the, the year before, in tremendous wet weather, a replay, and went to extra time on board. I thought that year you showed tremendous courage, and I thought that shows in your portrait hurling in football. I think it, the courage of this team is what I admire always. There's, there's a fierce uh, camaraderie. Like most of these lads have, have played from under eights and tens and twelves all the way up, you know. There's one or two of us already a bit older than the rest of them, but like we're falling into that slot. And then, but we've got, we'd die for each other and we'd work very hard for each other. So I think it's a trait of our team. Like.
like you know some was you know we, we we put our heart and determination into it and it's a thing that brings us through a lot of games even though we might have a mightn't have the best skill in the world sometimes you know <laughs> <laughs> I would have your skin he got a good movement good ball yeah. um, probably midfield he started to win it today which made a difference and then you were to walk the ball from there it was a uh, probably one of our downfalls against Apple we lost everything midfield but it was a thing we concentrated and worked very hard in training with midfield and then our half backs and our half forwards running out the breaks and I think it worked well today yeah well in the end you were going away running I thought you looked very fit in the end so I said to you earlier before we went on the camera would you think that hopefully you could win this next year now and go on and bring a junior football county you were so close to it this year I don't know Brendan you'll have to ask uh, the powers that be about that I think uh, the, the, the command will be the first in, in line now I think I think this was we, we set out a goal at the start of the year to win these cock yeah. and I, I think we've achieved that now and yeah. we'll, I think there'll be a lot of focus on hurling next year and yeah. football will be a secondary competition yeah. um, but look you never know you never know it all depends how we're going to hurling I mean you have football once you get to breaks yes once but you get to breaks I know I sort of hurling yeah. but to be honest there That's was it. very little this year very little um, I think just another I'd say just a, a bit of experience in Cena might, might yeah. bring us on another a round or two you'd be surprised if you can get into quarter finals you never know what happens from there on you know? That's it. Just congratulations to you and the team and after a very hard I not just said a year after a very hard four years yeah. I think it's extremely well to go home with a trophy just before Christmas you can show the legs up now for Christmas Brendan. do you enjoy <laughs> thanks very much bye bye well this year's come up to Christmas and we have the three wise men here <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pat you're bringing gifts back to Red Cormac and I'm sure you're quite happy to do this so late in the year I suppose we are I suppose um, it's been a long time coming really you know and um, you know, I suppose uh, hurling really take, took precedence for the last I suppose, 50 years in Bright Rovers and I suppose it's nice to get a bit of silverware, especially so close to Christmas. Uh, pity we couldn't put the county on top of it, but uh, we're absolutely over the moon uh, with today's victory. Brendan, he said about the county, I thought tonight against Apple, well, I just thought that the last four years told on them a little bit. I just t thought they were just that bit tired that night. They looked heavy in the legs and they had four very hard years between. Remember, they were all, already in two. These cock, they had a replay, drawn that, they're holding, winning intermediate, intermediate league almost this time of the year last year. Sorry, sorry, Obviously, yeah. I think that's what happened. Oh, definitely, definitely had a bearing on it. Um, it. I think the lads were very tired, and I think the emphasis this year in the football was to win these cock. The fact that we were in the final and nominated. I don't, I don't think it helped fellas, you know, yeah. I don't think that there was any great interest in winning the, the county such before winning East Cork. Yeah. I mean, if you boys where, where I have Bullogar at the moment, like playing, playing for the county again tomorrow to an extent, I think there's savage pressure on them and the same would have been here. Yeah. But, I mean, as Pat said a while ago, this is our third final in a row, we had to win one. The year before that we were beaten in the semi-final by Klein in a game that we had won, we were up nine points at half time. So, I, I think we deserved it, you know, I, I think, I, think, I mean, there are a fair bunch of lads, as you said, they let it for four years non-stop. It, it's definitely tiring on them, but it, I think they can enjoy it tonight now and enjoy the rest of the year, and maybe maybe some of them can really enjoy their retirement, I don't know what their plans are, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not at all, they're not fine enough. John, oh, hold it, he has to give a message to you for America, is this? <laughs> no, you do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, like, like that, it's great to come along, been there so hard, trying so hard the past couple of years, and at last, coming out in the day today and winning it. Oh yeah, brilliant, like, I suppose. The two boys have been here before, like Pat and Brendan, like I'm the new kid in the black with them this year, like, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's artist is brilliant, like, you know, artist is brilliant for the club, like, to win the first football title, like, it's coming a long, long time, like, you know, and thankfully today it has came, like, you know, I suppose, like, the, the county was a plus to us, as the boys said, we went out, we, these cock was the first, was the first thing, like, you know, we've achieved that. Again, I have Bulligar under pressure again tomorrow, going in against Grinnell, like, Grinnell have nothing to lose, they could come home tomorrow evening with two cups. Yeah. You know, but we have all goal achieved after the anima, so... Can I ask you now, just to say to that, do you agree with that? I personally don't. No, no. no don't agree with it, Brendan. It is ludicrous. Yeah. You know, because it's very unfair in Ahabullock tomorrow to go out, and if they're unfortunate enough to be beaten, that they have to hand over the County Cup tomorrow evening. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. To cock give Dallin to Waterford. Correct. Same yeah, thing. Same like. thing it, does, right? it doesn't make sense that you, can, that, that you can win a county without playing any game in the county. Yeah. yeah. I think the GA or county board level or whatever would have to look at it, I think. Do maybe it. clubs should put in the motion. Yeah, surely. Like, it's it's totally unfair. That's what I'm saying. It's suggesting maybe get a few clubs back to throw in because I don't care who it is. It's very unfair. Yeah, it's very unfair. Listen, that's whatever about that. I said, well done to you. I to bring it back to silver. You've no gold on gold on there this year, have you not? <laughs> right to the no. The silver at least, and it's new silver, as, as Tis, I yeah, said. Yeah. Yeah. So well done, yeah. back to that tonight. Thanks, Brendan. Okay, bye bye. Thanks.
Mr. Barry. Brendan. Are you making a phone call there ordering uh, gold frags? Hello, George. Hello. Yeah. I'm trying to contact George Johnson there, the sub goalie in Thailand. Is he in Thailand? Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So tell him that they won. Yeah. Yeah. The result, Are you pleased like. with that deal? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Great win, in fairness. They've been yeah. uh, knocking in the door there now for a couple of years, Brendan. Yeah, I said that to you. Isn't it nice to bring home some silver well dressed before Christmas? <laughs> oh, fabulous. Mm-hmm. We'll have a good night now tonight, Brendan. Good, so, yeah. Well done. Well, Tom had a quick word with George while ago, but him, the darkening, don't go on his dark already. Yeah. We yeah. might barely see you, but outside that room in the crowd, I said it was great to win him, and we, but it really isn't. It? Oh, yeah, I mean, I suppose the last three or four years, like. I suppose before we had success there with the holding football, I suppose could have tri- taken over really, you know, because there was a good, uh, they are very good at football as well. So uh, and then made the, the finals for the last two years without any success. So it was great to date uh, that this bunch of players um, made it through because I know they have created a lot of force for the club. But uh, I think they deserve this one as well, and not to be the first bunch of players to, to win it for the Rovers. You know? But like, that's the point, and I said to the three lads while ago, the three wise men, you know, the first they're bringing all the stuff out to uh, tonight. Yeah, yeah. I said, like, it's been four very hard years, and yet here they are all together, still fighting hard, fighting very strong out there, making sure they're bringing all the trophy back. And that must be great to a chairman to see that in his players. Oh, yeah, actually, the past three or four years have been outstanding, and it's supposed to be mainly down to this uh, bunch of players, and I think they've lifted the whole parish, really, you know. And it's just a testament to them that they came out here today and uh, had to fight so hard against O'Neill's. Uh, the scores early on weren't inclined to come, but in fairness, they, they battled away, and uh, I think at the end of the day, you know, nobody could be good from this, you know. Okay, they'll both be watching for Christmas. What would your wishes to them for the coming year? Uh, um, I, I think they deserve a break, in fairness, you know. They, they, they have uh, been going late in the year for the last three or four years, and, uh, you know, their commitment has been absolutely fantastic. If they were full time, I don't think they could have given it much more, you know. So I think no, they should enjoy their break. For for two or three months and hopefully come back uh, in the holding next year. I think they've learned a lot uh, in their first year at senior and hopefully that uh, the good times aren't over yet. So. Well done, Tom, and we'll see you hopefully okay, next well year and loads of wins again. Uh, hopefully well, well done. done. Thanks, Tom, and go, have a good Christmas. Yeah. I don't know. Same Bye. Thanks. So from Dungone, we say in the start. Bye for now.
Thank you.